In this series, we'll be constructing Ash's ultimate team if he was a champion specialising in one specific type of Pokemon, using Pokemon he's caught or bonded with in the past. To check out the many previous episodes, click the playlist in the video description. And now, in this video, we'll investigate what if Ash was a Steel type champion. And trust me when I say, this team is probably the craziest team of the entire series, so you will not want to miss it. Be sure to let me know the team that you'd give Ash in the comments below, and also be sure to smash the thumbs up button and the subscribe button too. It really does help me out. So, without further ado, let's hop straight into it. The first member of Ash's Ultimate Steel type team will be Ash's Mega Lucario. Let's get the obvious one out of the way. Lucario is on the path to be one of Ash's strongest Pokemon ever based on its consistently fantastic performances throughout Pokemon Journeys so far. It's beaten incredible Pokemon in battles. Volkner's Rotom, Volkner's Luxray, B's Grappeloct, and most importantly, B's Gigantamax Machamp. I mean, dude, the amount of damage that Lucario took in that battle was absolutely unfathomable, and yet it still came out on top. I don't think we've ever seen any of Ash's Pokemon take that much damage and still dominate. Its Mega Evolution is incredibly special and powerful. But even that isn't the most special thing about Lucario. Lucario and Ash have an amazing aura bond that they've barely even tapped into so far. Lucario and Ash are both aura wielders, so these two are made for each other. Even now, without barely training it, they can hear each other's thoughts, and it even seems like Ash can use his aura to strengthen Lucario. The amount of potential these two have together is unquantifiable, so I for one cannot wait to see how their bond and their strength continues to develop. The second member of Ash's champion team will be Ash's Melmetal. Melmetal is a mythical Pokemon with crazy amounts of power. We didn't see it battle often, but every time it did, it performed really well. Taking down Ryuki's Zwilus and Drudigan, Faber's Hypno, and Kukui's Empoleon. The only Pokemon that ever defeated it in real battles were Gladion's Silvalli and Kukui's Incineroar. Perhaps two of the strongest non-Ash Pokemon in the entire Sun and Moon series. Melmetal's double Iron Bash move was absolutely unstoppable, even in Ash's first ever battles using it. So imagine if they mastered it even more so. Ash could even teach Melmetal Solar Beam or Ice Beam to counter the team's biggest weakness, Ground-type Pokemon. But what's super important to consider is that Melmetal has a Gigantamax form, and it wouldn't be an exaggeration to say that this is perhaps one of the strongest Gigantamax forms ever. The power that Gigantamax Melmetal shoots from its belly can vaporize opponents instantly, which is nothing short of incredible and terrifying. So, Melmetal mastering Gigantamax could definitely be an option if Ash doesn't want to use Mega Lucario. The third member of this team will be Ash's Bastiodon. You might think this is a weird pick, and you're totally right, it is. But truthfully, Ash hasn't really bonded with many Steel-type Pokemon, and I think Bastiodon deserves this spot. In the Pokemon Diamond and Pearl series, Pokemon Hunter J tried to capture a group of little Shieldon that Gary was protecting. So Hunter J managed to kidnap one, and Ash, as Ash often does, risked his own safety to save Shieldon. And he eventually managed to do just that. With Shieldon giving Ash a massive hug, and then being held in his arms for the rest of the episode. These two seemed to get on really well, so I think it'd be nice for them to stick together and grow stronger together. Bastiodon is part rock type, which helps to protect the team against dangerous, super effective fire types. Bastiodon also has great defenses, and its face shield was shown in the anime to be able to deflect any move, which could be a great way to balance out the team. I think Ash learning how to battle effectively with a tanky, defensive Pokemon like Bastiodon would be awesome, since we know that Ashy Boy has struggled with Pokemon like that in the past. It could open up a whole new avenue of strategies, and it would help Ash to learn how to battle similar opponents. So, for those reasons, I think Bastiodon is a great idea. The fourth member of Ash's Steel-type team will be Ash's Rockstar Pikachu. 
Finally, Pikachu has made it onto one of these teams. And I bet you didn't expect it to be this one, right? Rockstar Pikachu is a type of cosplay Pikachu introduced in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. These cosplay Pikachu specialize in different types, and Rockstar Pikachu specializes in the Steel type, allowing it to be tutored the Steel type move, Meteor Mash. Ash's Pikachu already had a lot of emphasis on the Steel type, with its incredible Iron Tail attack and its Corkscrew Crash Z move. So if Pikachu can put on a cosplay outfit, and allow itself to focus and harness its potential of mastering the art of the Steel type, then that would just be perfect. In the games, Cosplay Pikachu has to be female, but in the anime, we've seen male Cosplay Pikachus too, so Pikachu could definitely do it. We all know the insane battle feats that Pikachu has achieved, from drawing against Tobias's Latios, to defeating Brandon's Regice, Gladion's Silvalli, and also Tapu Koko. There isn't a single Pokemon in the world that Ash can battle better with than Pikachu. They're partners, best friends, brothers, they're like extensions of each other. Pikachu has always been Ash's most reliable powerhouse, and utilising its Rockstar form could take this Steel-type team to a whole new level. The fifth member of the team will be Ash's Solgaleo. Look, this is something that we all wanted to see happen for so long. Ash raised Nebi, a little baby Cosmog, all the way up into a powerful Solgaleo, being the first person in the world to do this. They bonded, travelled together, battled together, and eventually parted ways. Solgaleo was unbelievably powerful, with moves like Sunsteel Strike being unstoppable. It can create Ultra Wormholes at will, so imagine Nebi opening Ultra Wormholes all over the battlefield and teleporting around them to dodge attacks and fire off its own attacks. It'd be insane. Ash and Solgaleo cared about each other so much, and we were robbed of Solgaleo being Ash's first ever legendary Pokemon. And not to mention how its searing Sunray Smash Z-move is one of the strongest in the entire series. So, with this Z-move, Ash not only has the potential of Mega Evolution and Gigantamax, but also an incredibly powerful Z-move too. Solgaleo doesn't have any huge role to play in the balance of the world, so it could easily join Ash's side again. The sixth and final member of Ash's Steel-type champion team will be Ash's Genesect. That's right, we're concluding this stacked team with another mythical Pokemon. In the Black and White series, the Genesect army were a group of Genesect created by Team Plasma, who broke free and wreaked havoc while trying to find their home. They were all aggressive and antagonistic, attacking both people and Pokemon that got in their way. Well, they were all like this, except for one of them. One of the Genesect was kind and friendly and not aggressive, and it even went against its own siblings to protect the people and Pokemon that they were harming. This led to it developing an incredibly close friendship with Ash, with the two of them bonding, having fun together, protecting each other, and helping each other to calm down the rampages of the other Genesect. I always wanted Ash to catch this Genesect, because it had so much personality, and they had a great friendship even against all of the odds. So I think Genesect should join Ash's Steel-type team. Not only is it incredibly powerful and speedy being able to go up against Mewtwo, but most importantly, this one Genesect holds the Douse Drive, which changes its incredibly powerful Technoblast move into a Water-type move. This could be absolutely critical in dealing with dangerous fire types and dangerous ground types, the team's two biggest weaknesses. So there is so much justification for Genesect being the final member of Ash's Steel-type champion team. So, overall, if Ash was a Steel-type champion, I believe his ultimate team would be Mega Lucario, Gigantamax Melmetal, Bastiodon, Rockstar Pikachu, Solgaleo, and Genesect. Dude, I can't get over this team. An aura-wielding Mega Evolution, two mythical Pokemon, one of them being Gigantamaxed, a legendary Pokemon with an incredible Z-move, a tanky fossil Pokemon, and Pikachu himself. Has there ever been a team this overpowered in the entire anime? When I told you this is the craziest team of the series, I was not joking. To test how strong this team is, I asked two of my friends, Dree and Albab, who play Pokemon competitively, to briefly evaluate the team in terms of game logic, to see if it's as viable in the games as it is in the anime. 
And this is what they said. Pikachu's offensive capabilities are good, but it can't take a hit at all. On the other hand, Bastiodon has great bulk, but it can't do any damage at all. It can't even defeat a Caterpie in one shot. Melmetal is really strong thanks to its great bulk, allowing it to take on almost anything. And its double iron bash is really powerful. Solgaleo has amazing bulk and power, as well as a really diversive move pool. And it can boost its attack with Z Splash? Genesect is mad versatile, thanks to its mixed offensive capabilities and its huge move pool, sporting fire, grass, electric, and ice coverage. And of course, its douse drive means that it can deal with its fire type weakness. Finally, Mega Lucario is ridiculously strong, thanks to its insane speed and power blasting through the ceiling because of its adaptability ability. It's one of the best Megas to use ever. So, overall, this team is incredibly strong, though it does have a major fire weakness. So there we have it. I am beyond thrilled with this team, for obvious reasons. Who knew that Ash Ketchum would become such a Steel-type king? Let me know what Pokemon you think would be on Ash's Ultimate Steel-type team in the comments below, and also let me know what type you want me to cover next. Smash the thumbs up button and subscribe too if you enjoyed. And on that note, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one.